Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So, this is the final part of my sash video. And this is the bees. So, these are going to be the most difficult to show you. Um, it's also my Scotty Dog ones as well. So, <laughs> I'll do this at the end. Uh, and you can fast forward that bit if you don't want to see all my Scotty Dog ones. And I've got a lot to do. Um, this is the folder. This is an A2 size folder that I put any of my larger completed paintings in. Um, that actually won't stick in. I've got some uh, A2 size card as well that I've put in here just to stick them onto, but it's obviously got a bit warm. These sticky tape's not working properly on this. So that one is my raccoon. That one uh, was one of my first PR packages that I got from Victoria's Moon. Uh, it was a double-sided canvas and it's a uh, round and I absolutely love it. I just think the colours are superb and actually he will be going back out again in autumn because I just love those colours and he looks lovely on my autumn part of my wall that I do. Uh, what else have I got in here? Oh, I've got my Christmas tree. This is my big sticker that I did, oh gosh, last year. No, it was the year before. Um, and it is just a set a great big sticker and I've taken it back off the wall and put it back on the cover sheet and it'll be going back up again this year just like it all different crystals on it so there's not many in here because uh, I've, um, I've gifted a lot of them to be fair I don't tend to keep a huge amount of my diamond paintings I don't tend to go elsewhere that's my bubblegum spaniel that was my first ever diamond dark club one that i completed the white ab crystals when i took them out of the bag they really did sparkle and i was impressed the thing i'm not impressed with is how pixelated the edges of this are with it being a partial um so yeah it was sort of the jury's out on that one but yes i agree it's good quality and i don't like it but i've just not really got anywhere to put that one so she's ended up in my folder at the moment until i decide that was my uh, 2020 coronavirus one. Um, I thought I'd get something to mark 19, uh, 1920. <laughs> I'm not that old, honest. To mark 2020. Um, and yeah, it's too big to go in my A3 folder. So it's in my A2 folder. And then that one is a true, oops, 30 by 40. That is my moon and it is actually now to be honest i think it could go either way it could go landscape or portrait it's around and i actually is it round oh no it's a square no that one is a square no it's around <laughs> i can't see sorry yeah it's very difficult to show these on here so i've got my camera up as far as it'll go it's one that i ordered because hubby was still poorly-ish in 2020 and I knew I wasn't getting any presents to open on my birthday so I ordered that one from Amazon so that I'd have a, a parcel to open on my birthday oh <laughs> and it had to be a diamond painted of course and then this one I absolutely love and I don't know why I've not got it on the wall I think I must have forgotten about it and that is my huge um special drill sandcastle i just love it there's the drills on it it's got shells and all different shapes and the rope work going all the way around the edges which is those little gold marquees that like silver on one side and gold on the other and then i think i've got oh i've just got a couple more in here um that's one i did uh, with rebecca Admo zest uh, that was what I did for my advent last year because I'd bought that early in 2021 and I decided I am going to complete it in 2021. So I did it as my advent calendar so I knew I would get it completed. So that was uh, done. It started on the 1st of December last year and it was finished on the 24th of December last year. I sectioned it off into the 24 parts of the advent calendar. So again, I've got uh, one to mark last year. So I've got one for 2020, one for 2021. I don't think they'll ever go on the wall, but they're just like a little keepsake. Would you call a diamond painting a keepsake? Mm, maybe. And then this one is my first cat-eared painting. And this is a mystery painting and it is a square. So it was my first square that I did as well. And it was great fun. Um, it was say, a mystery painting and we had no clue what it was going to be. And we went everything from a tiger to a tree to all sorts. I had the whole family guessing as I was doing each part of this as to what we thought it was going to be. 
and in the end it turned out to be a glow in the dark wave and where all this white creamy colour is is actually all glow in the dark drills and I did have it on the wall for a long time but I've changed it out now to something else I do swap my paintings out quite a bit but I reckon it was on the wall for about a year and then uh, I think I've got Lady and the Tramp in its place now uh, my craft buddy lady and the tramp so that's just the big ones that i've got as you can see i've got plenty of space in my a2 folder to put some more right so other paintings that i've got these are the ones that i've not got done and um, they won't fit into my other a3 folders so this again is an a2 size folder i do also have an a1 size folder so i'm not quite sure how I'm going to show you those, but I will bring those in in a second. Once we've looked through these, so how am I going to do this? How is going to be best to do it? Let me uh, take these out, I think, maybe, and put them back away as I go through them. That's probably going to be the easiest thing to do. Okay, some of them aren't huge, but it's just that they don't fit in my A3 folder, and I don't want them to get squished. If you've spent money on them, you want to try and keep them in a nice quality. Uh, sorry, nice quality. You want to keep them in a nice condition. So, we just move that out of the way. This peacock is obviously deciding it wants to be in on the act. So, this one is a partial. And it is 30 by 50, 22 colours. And I think this one's got special drills in it as well. I'm not quite sure. I do seem to think it had some sparkle in it. But it is just literally the flowers and the peacock. Um, and I got that one from Sun Fry. And it cost me £3.50. So I'm thinking possibly that one was a Vipon coupon from Amazon. And I've had that one since February 21. Quick one to do, actually. I'm not quite sure why I've not done that one. But anyway, so that's the first one. Now I've got to work out where I'm going to put them as I look through them. Uh, this is my full crystal squared cat eared one that I got. And I got that one in April 22, so April this year. And it cost me $28.90, so about £25. And I've not done this one purely because a lot of people bought this one with it being a square crystal. And a lot of people have showed it and done it on... Um, youtube so i thought i'd sort of give it uh, a while before i do it otherwise everybody's just looking at all the same things okay i think we're sort of more or less going in size order here so we'll see oh this is my Zef uh, zesty zesty wolf that i won uh, from diamond art studio it is an add more zest uh, it's the one that rebecca did for the advent calendar last year it is again a full 30 by 40 and they don't fit in my a3 folder so i have to put them in here um so yeah i think i paid five pound for the raffle tickets that i bought and i ended up with this painting he was a limited edition so yeah they're very pretty i will get around to doing him but, uh, not at the moment i'm doing lots of other things okay and then this is my second diamond art club this is my little boston terrier and he is 41 centimetres by 48 centimetres. Don't Diamond Art Club do some strange sizes? It's really difficult to get frames for ones that you do this way. Uh, it's a Maryline or Mary Lynn Cazenave. Um, I'd say it is the, just a partial, so it's got some fluff on it. That right, he had a spot on his head then, though it's fluff. And it is, again, just the dog in the middle that's diamond painted 18 different colors and we've got one which again looks like it's going to be the white um a b coated on this one but yeah the edges are jaggy you know the ed edges are pixelated i suppose it's i think it's a square no it's round this one and i got this one in february last year as well february must have been a really popular month i must have decided that i was spending money in february <laughs> Right, uh, this one is from uh, November 2020 and it is from DIY Diamond Painting Art, I think it is, DIY Diamonds maybe, uh, and it was a mystery 
and it's not an actual mystery painting it was like a mystery box so you didn't know what painting you were going to get uh, and I was a little bit disappointed because I paid have I put the price yeah I paid £19.20 for this and it's a 30 by 30 round painting with 25 colours and I think for £20 from sort of a budget diamond painting company yeah that was definitely a mystery <laughs> very pixelated we've got santa and the reindeers up here i wonder why i've put two stickers on it christmas same christmas i don't know why i've done that and i think it's like um a netherlands type houses because these look like the buildings that you see when you go to the netherlands the tall buildings with the extra on the top for the pulleys and everything for moving furniture or whatever uh so yeah that was um yeah it was a mystery as to why i paid 19 pound 20 but I didn't know what I was going to get. And I actually ordered this to arrive for Christmas 2020. Because again, Hubby had just come out of hospital. So I knew I wasn't getting presents from him. And he just said, oh, buy something for yourself. And I thought, oh, well, that'd be quite nice to open. Um, and yeah, that's what it was. So it was a little bit disappointing, but I'm over it now. <laughs> okay. And then this is uh, my second cateared. Uh, diamond painting a mystery painting 34 colors and it is around did i get it as a round i thought i'd ordered a square because really i always find mystery paintings are better as squares yeah it's got round uh, little guide circles on it and that, mm, it's not very much of a mystery to me i think i can see what that is <laughs> even more so looking through the camera and again that's from october 2020 so i've had that one a long time um, oh, these are my um, triptychs, my different parts. So let me have a look. Did they come separately or did I cut them? I can't remember now. I think these came separately. So these were from the good. It's good. Oh, I can't read my own writing on that. The other one was from the same as well. Anyway, they were from Amazon, a store on Amazon, and it's a five-part painting, and I paid four ninety-nine for them. So these were definitely uh, Vipon coupons. Um, so let me have a look. That's one edge. They are numbered, but uh, I'll just quickly. Yeah, that's another edge. <laughs> work out how it goes. Anyway, you can see how it goes. But uh, yeah, I've put these in here as well because they're quite long to go in there and it is around i do believe and this is 23 colors that's the that's the little thumbnail of it there it's just um some orchids some white orchids and i will get this done um i keep coming across all these different paintings that i've got and thinking i must get that done i do like that why have i not got it done Right, this is the other five part scene that I got. And I, oh, this one I've paid twelve ninety nine for. So I paid full price on this one. I think that one was on special offer. And when I looked, because you know sometimes when you go on Amazon and you look down below, it shows you other options as well. So I think I paid full price for this one. But I have actually done this one. Um, and it's on my wall downstairs. It's the couple walking in the rain with the dog. And uh, yeah, it's again show you the little thumbnail it's five parts but as i said i've actually done this one i got it from craft buddy crystal art already uh, on a canvas already pre-stretched so i may be getting rid of that one because i've already done it and i don't know whether i want to do it again uh, these are a couple oh i've not written the price on it but i definitely got these uh, special offer from um the the Disibbi store on amazon 30 colours and this is a 40 by 40 and I just love the colours on that. That's my dandelions. I got that sometime this year, earlier on this year. It's not been very long since I bought that one. And then this is the planets that I bought at the same time. And this one is a 40 by 50 and it's 25 colours. There's no DMC codes on that one. There is on that one, but there's no DMC codes on this one, which is a shame because it will be a lot of different colours. Uh, sorry a lot of drills um on a 40 by 50 mm. okay so that's those two and then all oh, this do you remember this i got this last christmas and it's one uh that i couldn't i did get my money back on it the 
because I just couldn't stop laughing. It was sold as an advent calendar. But actually, this is just a photograph of the pockets. I expected that these would be pockets that you could put things in. But basically, what they've done is they've taken a photograph of the pockets. If you want to have a laugh, have a look at the uh, unboxing video of it from December last year. I just really, I just cracked me up completely. I just couldn't stop laughing. Um, I mean, this is quite pretty. I've got the diamonds still and, you know, all the little decorations on the tree. Well, like diamond paint. It's very similar to the other one that I've got, that I've shown you that I completed. But, uh, yeah, talk about, well, a bit of a con, really. <laughs> Calling it an advent calendar when the pockets are just a photograph of pockets at the bottom. I just, oh dear, couldn't stop laughing at that one. So I've kept it anyway and I will get it done. And oh, this is my koala bear from Diamond Dots. I only unboxed him last week, week before. So, yeah, very pretty. He's a partial, but he is very pretty. Okay. And then this one. Uh, oh, I've not got any stickers on these. I think it was year before last. Um, I ordered this because I think Jennifer Kirk, I think that's the name. Um, she does have a YouTube channel. And I was taking part in her willow along because it was willowing out. And this is a willowing out fox. I know Diamond Art Club have had a similar one. Uh, and another com company does sell this one as well now. But I got this from the Diamond Painting Factory. And I believe even delivered, it cost me about £17. It is 40 by 50 And for the willowing out to come for that price, it was a really good price. Because Jennifer, I'm sure it's Jennifer, had got us um, a discount from the company for any of the willowing art pictures that they did so that we could all take part in the paint along. Um, and it was very sad because I didn't get around to doing it. Uh, it's just supposed to have my name on it, but it has got somebody else's name on the top there. So, yeah, the diamonds have got my name on. They're packaged up and they have got my name on. But for whatever reason, they the canvas hasn't but that's fine i still got the canvas 25 colors dmc codes and it is around so i will get around to doing it one day i may buy the diamond art club one and compare it but uh, the diamond art club one is just quite a lot of money just for doing like a comparison okay and then we have uh, the lovely butterfly that came from easy craft art this was in a pr package and i got this one in april and it's a 40 by 40. And again, I must get on and do it. 22 colours. Very pretty. Then I have Steam Train. And I've actually got this one twice because there's two people I want to do it for. Uh, this is from GBFKE. And it's 24 colours. And it's a 50 by 40 because it's that way on. And uh, yeah, my dad used to work on Steam Trains. He was the fireman on Steam Trains. So yeah. I wanted to get that one done for him. Now then, this one is from Diamond Dot Artistry. So this one came all the way from Australia. And it is a 50 by 60. And it's 25 colours, round DMC codes. And I just thought that, I'm sure that's London. I'm sure that's the banks of the River Thames that they're walking along there. So you're not really seeing these pictures to the best. But I have done unboxings on practically all of these. So I think you will have seen most of them. Oh, they are in my uh, thing. Right, so oh, this is my... Oh, that one wants to go in with my Scotty Dogs. That's my recently unboxed that uh, Rachel D Ditsy Diamond Painter spotted for me. And uh, yeah, she forced me to buy this one. And that's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Sorry, Rachel. Um, 35 colours, 30 by 40, double-sided tips. So I wanted to go in with my Scotties. Not quite sure why it's not in my Scotties. Oh, this is a Christmas painting um, that I bought possibly Christmas 2019 um, to do. And I've still got it. I've got it all kitted up, ready to do. I've just not got it done. Maybe I'll do it this year. Came from Colour Relaxation. And I think this was about £25. Because prices have definitely come down. But look, this has got the piece of uh, cover paper all in one piece on a 40 by 40. So you don't get all the creases. And it's a Christmas wreath. 
with Santa and his reindeer. And to be honest, looking at it now, I think that's going to be really pixelated. Because I don't think I've got this big enough. But I was uh, still reasonably new to diamond painting when I bought this one. So I think that's quite possibly why it's uh, just a little bit small. But we'll see what it looks like. And it's got really thick guide circles on it as well. And the background is complete stark white. So I think those circles are going to show up. So I may not do that one. I don't know. I think I've probably kept it because of how much I paid for it. <laughs> uh, oh, this is one of my PR packages from Fan Cells that I got in July. And that's my lovely turtle. He's ended up in here because he's too big to go in the others. He's a 40 by 50, uh, 21 colours. And he's around. And then, oh, this one's in here as well. This is another Scotty dog. This is my custom that I got of my little Scotty dog with her curlers in her hair or her face. <laughs> and 22 colours. So I've done an unboxing on that one as well. That's the Scotty. And this one actually is, um, well, it ended up being a freebie. It's 40 by 50 and it's 45 colours. And I got it from Evershine and they sent me the wrong canvas. So it is actually a clothes shop, a shop window with all the clothes hanging up. Um, and yeah, they sent me the wrong one. So they told me to keep this one and uh, they would send me the correct canvas so i ended up with it's not one that i would have ordered to be fair uh, but i don't think it'll come out bad once it's done i think it's uh, i've got a funny feeling that this is a square oh no it's round it's got rounds on it so it is a round but yeah so that was one that i ended up getting free um i think it was round about when i just started my youtube channel because I had in mind that I was going to do it as a giveaway. And then for whatever reason, I didn't get around to doing it. I think because I, um, I didn't know how I was going to get it to somebody. You know, when it's a 40 by 50 and it's got to go through the post, it's going to have to be re-rolled. So, yeah, we'll see how that one goes. But, uh, yeah. And then this one is a lovely poured glue round with 22 colours. It cost me £17.90 and it's from Uncatarily, the store Uncatarily and I think it was on Amazon but I just thought it was lovely. Today only happens once, make it amazing. And I'm sure I've just seen today Diamond Grandma unbox this one and actually had it in special drill um, which was like a partial special drill which may possibly come out better than this because that writing might not stand out quite well enough. Uh, but yeah, that one is a 50 by 40 and so 22 colours. So that's my first lot. So now let me see if I can get my others. So uh, this one is uh, one that I've just recently unboxed and it is from GBFKE and it's all the little dogs on the bench and it is a 90 by 30 and we're 27 colours and it's a round. I've put these on a hanger because I haven't really got a folder big enough for these to go in so I've just put them on a trouser hanger so I can keep them in place. Let me just uh, take the hanger off a second. Excuse me, that is the chair squeaking by the way, it's not me, honest. <laughs> so that's that one. Then I've got my huge Bambi one I got from Amazon uh, or from the Desidby store and it is 25 by 115. It's huge so I just haven't got a folder to put them in and I didn't want to roll them back up again. Uh, 26 colours round and then I showed everybody on my, um, on my uh, YouTube channel and then everybody else put it cheaper than I did. <laughs> And then I've got my ponies. Yay! So we've got all the little rainbow ponies. And again, 25 by 115. I think I only paid. I don't know. I can't remember. But I know they weren't very expensive. And I just fancied having a go at doing a long thin one. Because they're quite handy 
just for going on long thin walls these okay and then this one i've shown recently as well this is my tree my special drill and that one was 9.99 from fan cells and i've had it since august last year so it's a year old this one and I hopefully I'm going to get this one done. for smashing the specials. Keep that one out actually so that I remember it. And then my two special drill guitars as well. I did show these as well. You have seen those. So yeah, right. I just need to go and get my big ones now. Right, so I'm having to hold this now because these are my huges. And this is my A1 size folder that I keep them in. So yeah it was it's a little bit it's supposed to be like an art portfolio um but i found that the handle the cardboard at the handle has all snapped because of the weight that i've had in it so it's not brilliant but it does to keep my large canvases clean this is my moon my red moon with the lovely glowing red trees there from cool deals this was part of a pr package and it is 40 by 70 and it is 38 colours and it's around uh, yeah it's one that I definitely need to do because I've got a space that I want to put that one so this is going to be fun to do because I'm doing it one handed now oh these are my owl stickers uh, if you remember this is like a special drill owl sticker set that goes all the way across the wall um, with all different sayings and everything I've got upside down owls with all the music notes but yeah, this was great fun. I did do an unboxing on this one and it's just fantastic fun. I think I got it around about January this year, if I'm thinking about it. Because, uh, yeah, I got it in with quite a few other bits as well. But I just love the expressions on the owls. That one uh, just definitely looks a bit pain pained. And uh, that one's winking at you. <laughs> so this one's a Scotty Dog one. And this is a Wheaton Scotty and a Black Scotty sat on a Christmas chair. It is double sided tape and it is a 70 by 50. Goodness me, what was I thinking? Getting double sided tape that size. And it is 48 colours. So I'm not going to take the uh, cover sheet off, but yeah, and it was from Evershine. This is one that I've had. Oh, I would think this is coming up to two years old as well. This is from diamond art studio uk this is a fairly recent purchase from this year 35 colors and it is a 50 by 65 and it's called resting bench and yeah i'm definitely going to be doing that one that's going to replace um the one that i've got with the couple walking through the rain because that's a little bit small really for the wall i've got it on so this one will be replacing that this is another cat eared one and it is 50 by 50 square um, it's a sun and a moon with all the zodiac signs on it i actually won this one so um i think i won a hundred pound oh, sorry a hundred dollar gift voucher from cat -Eared. and uh, this is what i spent it on and a couple of mystery paintings and things yeah october 2020 i got this one so and it is that tape colors sorry about the camera work it is uh, quite difficult doing it one-handed but i just can't get my camera high enough to show you the canvases <laughs> i bought this one in september 2020 and it's like a pet scene it's got a scotty dog with rabbits and i think that's a cat sat next to it oh goodness and there's budges and all sorts on it so this is a 50 by 60 and i think it's round i hope it's round because it's uh, double-sided tape and then finally we're back to scotty dogs <laughs> so these are two that i bought I think these came from Amazon. Uh, a little bit dark. I'm not quite sure how they'll come out. They're 30 by 40s and they're rounds. This one has 32 colours and this one has 33 colours. And yeah, I'm, gonna say, I'm not quite sure how they'll come out. But uh, yeah, possibly a little bit small those. And then this one I did do an unboxing on, I believe. It's 30 by 45, 16 colours. And I've not written down where I got that one from either. I do believe this one was Amazon as well. Um, I tend to scour through. And as soon as I spot anything Scotty Dog, I order it. Because there doesn't seem to be as many Scotty Dogs as there are other dogs. Or maybe we all feel that about our dogs. <laughs> and then these are 40 by 50s. 
in lovely pod glue. These were from Amazon as well. Uh, this one is 18 colours and this one is 21 colours. Rounds again. So you can see I'm going to be wallpapering the walls with Scotty Dogs. Ah, right, this one is my Millie Moo, which I've done the other one that I did. I've got one of my uh, previous Scotty Mill at Maisie and I've done that one, but I haven't got this one done. This is square. This was from the Diamond Den, which sadly they're not on the go anymore. This was a custom. This is uh, Millie at my mum and dad's house summer before last. I've probably had this one over a year as well. Ooh, it's getting a little bit must have yeah it's got a bit of sticky there and it's getting some black fluff stuck to it look i'll have to sort that out but this is 35 colors and as i say it is a square so i must get that one done because she's very pretty and i have got the frame for that as well 40 by 40 it's a lovely canvas it was a really good company as well i'm really quite sad that they went okay so what have we got here Oh, this is my multicoloured, um, I got this one, oh, 11, 11, 11, so it can't have been 11, it must have been 21, <laughs> and I'm not sure how many colours, probably about 30, and it's a 30 by 40, oh, it's a 30 by 38, sorry, and it's this little multicoloured Scotty dog there, uh, this is my Oops by, which was my Painting by Numbers Millie, that I thought I was ordering um, a custom <laughs> I thought I was ordering a custom diamond painting and I ended up with a custom painting by numbers so I may get it done I may encourage hubby to have a go but that's a little another Millie picture how many Millie pictures can one person have not enough was the cry you can see the amount of photographs I've got yeah <laughs> and then this one is Starry Night Scotty I've actually got some cushion covers with this picture on as well um i think this one was aliexpress and it's a 30 by 30 and it's 20 colors so that'd be quite a quick one to do is this one square around that's uh oh it's a square one this one so it's in squares so it should come out okay that one okay i told you i had quite a lot of scotty ones now this one this is um, huge uh it's a 40 by 50 and oh no it's not the one i was thinking of i've got another big one somewhere it's 45 colors 40 by 50 and it's a little scotty in a little mailbox uh, we don't have mailboxes like that unfortunately in this country i wish we did It'd be so much easier the dog wouldn't eat the post <laughs> okay and then that's those two let's see and that's the one that we've just seen because i've just put it in this folder Oh, this, <laughs> this one is from Evershine and this one is, um, I just liked it. Oops, if I can get to, oops. It's a Scotty dog with pumpkin and Christmas and rabbit ears and sunflowers. So it's an all season Scotty. Oh, it's got a Christmas tree in the background as well. And that one is 30 by 40. And oh, I paid eight pounds for that one from Evershine, and I got it in January 21. So yeah, this is about 18 months old. I must get some of these done. That one we've just seen, that's my Momo art one. Uh, oh yeah, and then we've got an honorary Westie, which is for Harvey, my little Westie. Um, I am going to be doing a little challenge in September. I've had a few people say they'd like to join me. So it's going to be hashtag 30 by 40 life 22. But I'll put the details down below. I think I might have to call it the 30 by 40 life uh, 22. Um, so that, yeah, if you're wanting to post on Instagram, you can join me. I'll do a few little prizes and things, just sort of like an off the cuff challenge as it were for people to just join in if they want to let's see how many 30 by 40s or 40 by 30 canvases we get done so i might do this one as my first one because it is it just looks like my little westie that had my little harvey and uh, it's so pretty so yeah 19 colors nice little one to get started with um if you haven't got an instagram account and you do want to take part in the 30 by 40 see how many we can get done for september uh, then you can always email my email address is always down um in the description down below and uh, yeah you can always email me and if with your permission i can put it onto instagram if you want other people to see or if you don't you can just send me them and i'll put you into the draw so it will literally be for little prizes uh, for every painting that you get completed 
uh, in September. So starting the 1st of September, um, however many you get completed will be how many entries you have into the draw. But I saw, I'll do a proper video on that and uh, I'll let you see that. But yeah, so that is my diamond painting stash. So my goodness me, how many paintings have I got? I dread to tally it up. Let's have Millie and Harvey together. <laughs> dread to think how many paintings I have got far too many was the cry but anyway can you ever have too many diamond paintings I collect them as well as doing them that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it okay well I hope you've enjoyed seeing uh, this fourth video of my diamond painting stash goodness me <laughs> if you have enjoyed looking at this a thumbs up is always much appreciated and if you want to come back and see what I get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified of any videos that come up and you'll be able to join in with us. So thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.